All right, everybody. So we are doing the review. Um, it's the practice hand in. The other side of this has got the word practice in blue on it. I don't have that sheet today. So we're just doing the back. And here we go. When we're going to work down. So we need to figure out if this is a constant, a linear, a quadratic, or a cubic. Anybody want to guess? No, it's not linear. Somebody else guess. It's quadratic. And how do I know? Because there's a two. So there's my quadratic. So anytime the highest power is two, it's a quadratic. Done. Tyrese, what's the degree? Yes, other side. Back of it. Upside down. There we go. I don't know, Therese, did you answer? Yeah, it's two. Degree is just a, a fancy maths way of saying, what's the highest exponent? So two, done. The sign of the leading coefficient. So this whole term here is my leading term. So, okay, is that three positive or negative? Good, done. Don't put three in there. It says sign, so it's plus or minus. Those are your choices. Number of y-intercepts. Anybody? One. one. And I'm going to be lazy. This one I am doing all the way across. These are polynomial functions. They're only going to cross the x, the y-axis once. Yesterday when we did this, we had the graph, and it was super easy to just look on the graph and see where it crossed the y-axis. Now I'm not giving you the picture, I'm just giving you the equation, and we're gonna have to calculate the coordinates of the y-intercept. When you do a y-intercept, what do you know? You don't know the y number, but the x number is gonna be zero. Always. Don't make me retell the story about my ex-boyfriend. Okay, not even a boyfriend. The guy I chased in the name of my son. And if you weren't here for that, too bad for you. But remember, it's y-intercept x equals zero. Always. There you go. Eric. So was the guy I chased in university. Not related. Ah, sure. When your older sister looks at you and goes, not after that idiot. From, you, no, not after him. And yes, I know that's recording. So we take her <laughs> equation. I love my sister. She's great. Okay, there we go. Now where the X is, we're putting a zero. So Y is equal to three times zero squared minus 10 y is equal to 10. I'm being a little lazy there because I know zero squared is zero times three is still zero. Uh-oh, I screwed up. How did I screw up? I lost my negative. I started talking too much. So we're going to have zero and minus 10. When I ask you for coordinates, I want a point. So minus 10 will get you part marks. Zero and minus 10 will get you full marks. All right, starting quadrant. Mm. You're thinking, how would I know? Well, you can remember, hold on. You could go with, that's what the chart is for. Or I'm lazy, I'm gonna draw this. So this is an even degree and it's positive. So if you remember from our little chart, even positive is a smile. So this is gonna be some sort of a smile. I don't know exactly where it's gonna go, but I know it's gonna start, let's see, quadrant one, two, and quadrant two, and it's gonna end over in quadrant one. 
Okay, so any of our quadratics are gonna look like that if A is positive. So the A is that leading coefficient. And the domain, who knows the domain? Ah, thank you. X is an element of real. Oh, it's good enough. And that goes all the way across. Well, okay, Kay, you make me do it right. It should get, look like this, X, such that X is an element of real. That's absolutely pretty and perfect. But I'm okay if you just say XER. So far, so good. Okay, everybody happy? Okay, let's go back to the next one. Now the next one is a trick question. Take a look at this equation and then look at all the other, all the other examples I got there. What's different about that second one? Yeah, it's got the two X and it's got the five. All of these rules only work if you start with Y equals something or other. So we need to fix this. So I'm gonna subtract two X, subtract two X. Oh, this is weird going upwards and solving stuff. Five Y is equal to four minus two X. Okay, so I moved it to the other side. Now, what do I need to do to get the Y all by itself? Yes. Okay, this is bothering me. No, I'm just gonna do it here. So two X plus five Y is equal to four. I want the Y, cover it up. I want the Y by itself. So I'm gonna go minus two X, minus two X. So five Y is equal to four minus two X. And I'm gonna divide by five. Okay, and that's, be careful with this. Make sure you're dividing all the terms by five. Usually when we solve the equations, we're not, we're doing that as a very last step and you only have to divide one thing, but everything gets divided by five. So Y is equal to, I'm gonna be lazy. I know that four out of five is 0 0.8 minus 0 0.4 X. And I don't even like that. I am much happier when I put it in standard form with the X at the start. I lost my zero, I did. Thank you. Awesome. So there we go. So scribble out this or however you want to do it because you're nice and neat. And we got Y is equal to 0 0.4X, that's a negative, plus 0 0.8. Now I can use my rules. When we're done, remind me, I think there's a typo on the hand in. I just want to double check. We'll do it later, but somebody remind me. Okay, now I'm good. So is it a constant, a linear, a quadratic, or a cubic? Linear, yay. So, you know what you could do is I would go X, X squared, X cubed and number. That's how you tell the difference. So if it doesn't have, it's just Y equals a number, it's a constant. If it's just, there's just an X, no squares, no cubes, it's linear. And cubic is three. 
All right, I'm gonna start going around the room. Okay, what degree is this one? What's my exponents on the X? So there's an understood. One. It's that pesky understood one that's all over the place. So I'm gonna put that up there too. There we go. All right, sign of my leading coefficient. Abby, what's the sign on the leading term? Perfect, almost, but I just need the sign. Is it positive or negative? It's negative. Yeah. And I'm going to circle this as my leading term. Okay, we already know it's got one y intercept because they always have one y intercept and now i have faith that you can mm, you're going to put a zero in where the x is i'm going to do it two ways I'm paranoid. I was screwing up with my signs. So you know what? For this step, I actually can go back to my original equation. So two times zero plus five y is equal to four. That's gonna disappear. Five y equals four. Divide by five, divide by five. Y equals 0 0.8. But if I tried to put that in there, it'd be all squishy. I will also give you full marks. Y is equal to negative 0 0.4 X plus 0 0.8. Y is equal to negative 0 0.4 X, whoopsie, 0 plus 0 0.8. Y is equal to 0 0.8. Either way, I'm getting 0 0.8 out of it. It's up to you but you'll put something in there because you're clever. And then you get zero and 0 0.8. Now, Audrey, if I were to draw like a little sketch of this diagram, what is... Oh, so close, my friend. It's a straight line, but you're going downhill because your leading coefficient is negative. Oh. So it's going to go like this. And for those of you that are going, huh? Where is that coming from? That is coming from that chart. So x to the one degree is odd and it's negative, it's a downhill. So there's all kinds of little charts that help you do all this. Ah. That being said, you could also use your friend Desmos and just type it into Desmos. So going down here. So Tanya, what quadrant is this one over here? Nope. Colleen, what quadrant is it? Um, nope. Three. One, two. Quadrant two. And we end in quadrant, anybody? Four. Good job. So my quadrants are one. Whoa. Count, Joanne. Two, three, and four. And then we're done because we know what the domain is. All right. Mm, I think I'll do two more or we will do two more together. And then I'm gonna give you some time because the other ones are just variations of what we've already done. All right.
Tyrese, this next one, y is equal to negative 2.3x to the third. Constant, linear, quadratic, or cubic? Cubic. Don't put C, bless your heart, because you've got constant and cubic, so CU is good. Uh, Rihanna, what's a degree? Uh, nope. Lily, three. So a degree is, whoops, is your highest exponent. So there's my degree. Now, the sign of the leading coefficient. Hmm. Colleen? No. Right there. Oh, negative. negative. I was just giggling because there's only one term. All right. That's good. So now we have 1x, sorry, 1y intercept. Everybody do the math. Y is equal to negative 2.310 cubed. Okay, I know you can do math. What's my answer? Yeah. yeah. So then my coordinates, excuse me, are gonna be zero from over here. X is always zero and zero. So it's gonna cross at the origin. Now, Let's use that behavior chart. Okay, so it's three. So that's odd. So that means it's gonna be a straight line and it's negative, which means it's going downhill. So for finding the start and end, that's all I need. I know because it's cubic, it's gonna have probably a wobble in the middle, but I don't care. This is what I need. So we're going downhill again. So then look at that, it's gonna be two and four. Just like this one. All right, last one we're gonna do and then I will pause the recording and hopefully you'll remind me to turn it back on once we do this. All right, y is equal to negative five. Mm. Abby, what do you think? Constant, linear, quadratic, or cubic? Yes. There we go. Hmm. Our highest exponent. Audrey, what do you think? Yeah. Because there isn't any x there. Because x to the zero has been a while. Oopsies. Since we've talked about that. So when the x is missing, it's zero. Hold on, I have that on my sheet. Mm -hmm. oh, look, it says that. Also says zero x intercepts. Side of, sign of leading coefficient. Mm. Hold on. Honestly, I think on a test, I would blank out that spot because there is no leading coefficient. I'm going to put NA because there's no leading coefficient. So there we go. Coordinates. So one, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What does this look like? What does Y equal minus five look like? I need, I need some graphing here. Somebody tell me. It's going to be a straight line, which way? Horizontal, Horizontal going through. Zero. Going through negative five, right? It's going to be five down. Yeah. Right? That's what constants are. They're always horizontals. Oh, wow. What's my y intercept? 
y equals minus five. I guess it's my zero and minus five. Okay, I overthought that because it tells me right there what y is. Yeah, Joanne was overthinking. Oh, starts in three, ends in four. So here are my coordinates, here's my axes. One, two, oopsies, three, and four. Okay, I'm gonna stop. You're going to work for a while, so I'm gonna pause the recording. I'm back on, hello, and we're back. Let's do this. All right, Lily, starting with you. Uh, what kind of an equation is this one? Nope. You don't get to, uh, uh, oh. Good, because you had me worried. I thought you were making up your own rules there. Quadratic, beautiful. I'll move my camera over. That's it, here we go. So that would be degree two. Um, positive or negative? Keep going, Lily. Negative, excellent. One, y squared, my, whoopsies. No, it's not squared. Minus five plus three times, I'm gonna be lazy and put the zero in right away. Minus seven times zero squared. So y is equal to minus five. And I'm okay if you're that lazy. Um, what I hope you may have noticed by now, I don't know why I'm shouting today. I think it's, <laughs> are you guys noticing it? Okay, sorry. One, it's the video, and I think the Neo Citroen I took this morning is affecting me a little more than I expected. So, my bad. The x's disappear, right? When you're doing the y intercept, x is going to be zero. So, any one of the terms that has zero gone, you're just left with the constant. The zero in front? Yeah. Because I am crossing my y axis somewhere or other. And wherever I am on this line, it's going to be zero and something. Don't try and make me tell my story again. So, yes, Eric, that's all you need to know. He'll be so proud to know he's well known for that. So I have, let's see, that's a two. So that's even and it's negative. So it's going to make me unhappy. Again, that's going back to, you can either read it from here, because I mean, it's on there, but I'm lazy. That's too many words. I would rather just look here. It is an even, that's the two, it's negative, it's a frown, done. So that means one, two, three, four. So three and four again. Oh, that's done. Okay. Who wants to do the next one? Thank you, Rihanna. Okay, so cubic. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So zero and zero, nice. Picture, what am I drawing? Nope. Tyrese, what am I drawing? If it, it is odd and positive, uphill. But yeah, it would have a squiggle in the middle, but I don't care. Yeah, for my start and end. So it's gonna start in 
three and end in one and we're done. Okay, how you doing? Yeah? Miss I'm writing in pen. I'm just jealous. I'm never that brave. Can you? Yeah? No? That's okay. So you don't want me to say, well, you do the next one. We can, we can talk later. All right, um, Colleen, you go girl. Let's see what you can do. Yes. Yep. Nope, we're gonna put not applicable. All right, so then where's my y-intercept? Well, look what we did this last time when it said y equals minus five, zero minus five. 0. Point. All right, so I flipped it to a decimal because I know how much you guys like fractions. So zero and negative zero. Oh, see, now I did it because you said three quarters. Because you and I can do fractions. It's just young ones. That zero and negative 0. 0.75. Either one's good. So we're going to have a straight line. And it's going to be a horizontal line. So it's important we know where it is. Right, it's going to be just below because it's a negative 0 0.75. So somewhere down there. So then I'm starting in, let's see, that should be three and ending in four. And if you're wondering, no, you don't need that, but it made me feel happy. <laughs> In case any of you else were like, no, it's Roman numerals. It needs that. All right, who's feeling brave? Abby? Nice. Keep going. Yep. Yep. Negative eight. And you're right. Ah, I don't need that. So that's going to disappear. Zero and five. Okay, keep talking. What's my picture going to look like? Okay. How do you know that? It is. I need my picture. Not that I don't believe you, but it is odd because my exponent is one degree is one and negative downhill. So, yep. Before we hand this in, we did some clever stuff. One, we did the y-intercept is one all the way along. We did the x, we did the domain all the way along. Done, right? The other thing is make sure when you're doing it, your starts are two and three. So I've got two, two, three, 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 two, good. One, four, 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 one, yep. We're good, right? Don't get them messed up. And that's that, what that final check is about. All right, last little bit we have is determining the x-intercepts. Now this may seem weird that I put it down here, but depending on the graph, depending on the equation, it's either easy or pretty ugly to find the x-intercept. So I only do it some of the time. Now, for the x-intercept, what do you know? Y equals zero, right? Y-intercept, x equals zero. X-intercept, y equals zero. It's always the other one that's zero. So then it's simple, two x plus five times zero is equal to four. And then you're solving it like you did before. Tanya, can you solve this one for me? I have faith that you can. 
What's five times zero? Zero is equal to four. So two X is equal to four. How do I get rid of the two, Tanya? Beautiful. Five by two, divide by two. X is equal to two. Now, if you want full marks, what do I do now? Bracket two R, two comma zero. There we go. All right, I'm gonna stop the video because I know you guys can do this. It's exactly like solving for all the y-intercepts except you're putting in for an x-intercept, y is equal to zero. Thank you for joining this fun video. Bye.